Go. How are you, everyone? My name is Astro Washka, and today we are going to be talking about a couple of things that we learned in Chinmaya Sunday Pakshala. So Chinmaya Sunday Pakshala is actually a family empowerment program. It happens on every Sunday, and the entire family comes together to learn about culture, value, virtues. Uh, indic in nature right so today um, um we have a contest um like more than like a fun uh fun happy contest about the independent day contest right so, so we're just going to dive into it so ashikar is actually part of the balavihar class and i am part of the study group so today we did a little bit about the ishvara upanishad yeah so that was a very interesting one and what did you learn in class today ashikar we learned like uh, how Ganga came, uh, Jodhiyas, and you want to tell a little bit about that? Yeah, um, we learned about um, a lot of a few rivers mm -hmm. like Kaveri, mm -hmm. um, Krishna, mm -hmm. Godavari, wow. Ganga. Okay. And we were like matching where where those places come from, and wow. we also learned about a few stories about those rivers, like Kaveri story and Ganga story. Do you want to tell one story, Kaveri story, maybe? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Kaveri story is like um, the, there was a rishi and he was sitting. Mm -hmm. uh, he got really angry uh, at like uh, at Kaveri, mm -hmm. and uh, she and then he took all of the water and put it in his kamandalu, and then oh. and then nobody had water. Everybody was suffering, huh. and then the devas. And they were up or like worrying. So they all went to Lord Ganesha and mm. asked him, uh, please help, please help. Nobody on the earth are getting water because of this sage Adhugastya who took all of the water in his kamandalu. Mm. And then um, uh, Vinayaka came in the form of a crow, mm. came and then he tapped the leg and then tapped the uh, tap the Kamandaru and it started flowing all over. Wow. That's how Ka uh, Kaveri came. And then he wanted to say sorry, so he did this. Okay. Super brain yoga. Okay, so this was taken. Who who took your class today, na? Um, two Lavanyakas. Okay, so you had double Lavanyaka. Lavanyaka square, squared. Okay. Yeah. So, and then as we, had a, we had two Lavanyakas. Mm -hmm. And we also learned about R.D. Pilk, right? Yeah, at the first. Okay, and you know, there's something very fun. Uh, Amma's birthday usually falls on Adi Padanete or Adi Perke and basically it is a day where we uh, send our gratitude to all the river forms and river bodies which is the water element which always nourishes us right so that we have crops and everything else so it's a very auspicious month Adi month is for all the Amman am I right? Yes, that, Amman. Did. that was a very nice song no that uh, Ramya auntie played yeah did you like that song? I love that song <laughs> yeah okay so let's go to today's contest which actually um, it was uh, basically told to us is that um, since Independence Day is just around the corner, we were asked to do a couple of things uh, in line with that. But before we start, we thought we would just we introduce, will introduce who we are, who we are. Yeah. and probably just know him. Yeah, yeah, more of me. So, yes. Okay, so yeah, welcome to my profile. <laughs> Okay, welcome to my profile. A, my age is eight years old. Yeah, I'm eight years old. Mm -hmm. So my mom is Kartika and she's right here. My dad is Hemantraj. She's right over there. He's outside. <laughs> and um, I was born in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Um, and I am currently in Kuala Tur, Chennai. Because I just came here. <laughs> My YouTube channel, Ask go check it out. Please subscribe. <laughs> okay. Okay. So there is also some fast facts about me. I'm Ashikar. I'm studying in Sasma Foundation International School in Ananagar. And I'm in grade four. Yes. <laughs> My favorite song is Achutam Keshavam. <laughs> okay, and I play the keyboard like I'm just a beginner. I know how to play like a uh, few songs. <laughs> and um, I love to dance, but the dance floor disagrees. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go there. Uh, my favorite things to do are these. 
I love to run around the place, run around the place. <laughs> and I love playing cricket. Um, watching YouTube, study, study, study. <laughs> and I love doing the Surya Namaskar. Very nice. Now, let's talk about the contest. We were given the assignment to describe about a few motors in the Bharatiya organizations in Sanskrit. So, uh, there are some few organizations. Uh, so, uh, we are going to talk about the mottos in the Bharatiya organizations. So, let me give, first we need to know what is a motto. Um, a motto is a short sentence or a phrase chosen to be encapsulating the beliefs or ideas of an individual, family or institution. Now, since we know that um, that uh, the Olympics is happening in Tokyo, do you know the Olympics motto? It's uh, "Situs Atus Fortis" in Latin, but um, in English it's "Faster, Higher, and Stronger." Together, right? Together. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, um, fun fact going... about Olympics. Do you know yesterday? Fun fact. Yeah. Uh, yesterday I read a book about Olympics and. Um, uh, also today uh, and then yesterday, like um, uh, we, after a hundred years, India won a gold medal in by athletics, yeah. in athletics. Yes, which one? It was the javelin throw. So it's a very proud moment for all of yes. us in India, and like congratulations, right, to the person who has done that. Great, really, great, really, great. Really. Okay, now let's go to the motors directly. Motos, okay, directly. So the first organization that Ashkar has chosen is Defense Research and Development Organization. Okay. Okay. So Mommy can see the first motto. Okay. So the motto is Balasya Moolam Vijnana. Which actually means which actually means knowledge is power. So we'll say that again which is Balasya Moolam Vijnana. Which actually means knowledge is Power. Okay, the second one is the second from, one is from the Indian Institute of Management, Bangalore. I I am the. See, even in the uh, logo itself, you know, it's already there. The motto is already there. It looks like a fun, right? The entire motto. Yeah. So what is That's their true. motto? It's called Tejasvi Navadita Namastu. Okay, which means which means may the shining one, the sun, metaphor for God. Illumine our intelligence, which means, uh, like the god, like the sun god, the god should enlighten our knowledge. Yeah, and intelligence, right? Beautiful. I am yes, also I has it. beautiful uh, quote in uh, Sanskrit. Okay, the third one we have also chosen it's is the one. same um, Indian Institute of Management, but it's now in Kori Kori. 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 Yes, Kori. Yeah. Kori. And what is and yam? Yes, it is like, uh, as you can see in the, uh, yes, it's yoga karmasu kaushulam. Yoga can you say that again? Yoga karmasu kaushalam. Kaushalam, I guess. Kaushalam. We are not um, Sanskrit <laughs> pro, <laughs> so yeah. Bindu and T should actually correct us if we are wrong. So what does it mean, Ashikar? To do a skillful work is a virtue. Right. And mommy always talks about that. Can you talk about virtues? Yeah, I think values and virtues are very, very important. I think that's what makes a very human. And I always believe that um, the thing that I always teach you, what is the greatest virtue of all mankind? Honesty. And? Uh, honesty and truthfulness. Yeah, so we believe that honesty and truthfulness is the foundation of all human virtues. So that's something that I truly believe in. And yeah, virtues and values are important. And here it says to do a skillful work itself. Is it's a, a virtue. virtue. Beautiful, right? All right. Let's okay, now here. let's go to a fun fact. In Indonesia, Sanskrit is the more are the most used, widely used language for mottos in terms of their arm, uh, armed forces, educational, and government institutions, respectively. So, um, in Indonesia, most of the mottos are in Sanskrit, not only um, Bharat, it's also in Indonesia. Yeah. So, it's international mottos. Yeah, so uh, I did my medicine. Yeah, my mother, uh, mommy did her medicine in Indonesia and she was there for like eight years. And I was so surprised, right? Like this, uh, Sanskrit was just used so widely everywhere, right? And uh, in fact, the, the capital city of uh, uh, Indonesia, Indonesia is, Jakarta. It has a it has a Sanskrit um uh motto motto yeah. which is Jaya Raya which means 
glorious and great very nice and in fact the indonesian army is right uh, my the indonesian army's um uh, uh motto motto has my mom's name now you already guessed it because you saw it um in my profile as you can see it's the first word kartika ek pakshi 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 which so, means untouchable unmatchable bird with noble goals so kartika is actually a name of a bird i believe so kartika ek pakshi means an unmatchable bird with noble goals so what we have learned today is that sanskrit is a, a language which is so ancient you know it originates in india and uh, many organizations and institutions in india use it in their motto not only in india but we can also understand it is used away from india in indonesia uh, in many 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 organizations, many, many organizations. just chosen to yeah. you know we highly recommend you to go to the wikipedia page and you know just explore it was uh, quite a, a, a you know uh, we learned so much today so thanks to uh, this homework we actually learned a thing or two right? yes say thank you to ramya ma yeah and everybody else from the chennai sandy bhashal team i think you yeah. guys are giving us uh, so much knowledge through this um, you know family based activity so we actually agree and we that. love it and so it's it's like super nice yeah so yeah let's go to the next page that's it folks happy independence day and bharat mata ki jai so yeah i'm right there in the photos so let's stay connected let's stay connected um so my youtube is ashwashika just search it and you'll come and then please subscribe and if you want to mail me for like any purpose it's ashwashika at the rate of gmail.com All right, okay. and my Instagram is <laughs> at Ashwashika. <laughs> we had so much fun sharing this with you, and we hope that you learned one thing or two. We look forward to sharing more in the next coming weeks. Sending you all so much of love, joy, and happiness. Hariyom, everyone. Say Hariyom, Ashika. Hariyom. Bye. Bye. -bye.